Pull ups and dips are two of the best exercises that you can use to build your upper body. But are they enough or do you need to add more exercises in order to build an impressive physique? And what if you can't do pull ups and dips? Are you doomed to live a life without muscle? We'll discuss all of this and more in this video. Oh and by the way, I haven't been able to work out for the past two months because of the Rona. So I'm not really in the best shape of my life. But no prizes for guessing which two exercises I'm using to build back up. Pull-ups and dips. And as for whether you can build an impressive physique with just pull-ups and dips, the answer is a resounding yes. Pull-ups and dips are like squats and deadlifts for the upper body, especially when done weighted. These two exercises complement each other perfectly as they involve two fundamental movement patterns. Pull-ups utilize the pulling movement pattern, while dips involve the pushing movement pattern. These two exercises alone can build 90% of the muscles in your upper body. Pull-ups work your grip, forearms, biceps, lats, and upper back, while dips work your chest, shoulders, and triceps. Pull-ups also work the abs to a far greater extent than certain ab exercises. In fact, I haven't done a single ab exercise in more than 15 years. And when done with a supinated grip, that is with your palms facing toward you, your biceps get activated a lot more, thus making the movement a lot easier because of the additional muscle mass involved. I always do my pull-ups with my palms facing toward me and you should too if you want to get your biceps involved in the movement. You'll also notice that you can do a lot more reps this way as opposed to your palms facing away from you. Now while pull-ups and dips can both be standalone exercises in your upper body routine, they won't cover all your bases. This will leave you prone to injury. That's because you're leaving another fundamental movement pattern out of the mix, the overhead press. Overhead pressing complements pull-ups and dips by keeping your shoulders healthy. On the contrary, dips have the potential to destroy your shoulders, so be cautious while doing them. In fact, a lot of people are prone to shoulder injuries while doing dips and I'm one of them too. So even though pull-ups and dips are staple exercises in anyone's workout routine, if you're someone who can't do pull-ups or dips, I've got you covered as well. Enter the push-up and the inverted row. Now before you click off this video, hear me out. Inverted rows and push-ups are two exercises that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with pull-ups and dips, especially if you can do them with weights. In fact, if pull-ups and dips get stale, you can substitute these two exercises with inverted rows and weighted push-ups. I always do these two exercises on gymnastics rings because the rings provide you with extra range of motion, which means you're building more muscle and strength. I'll leave a link for a good pair of gymnastics rings in the description below. What's more is that weighted push-ups and inverted rows will have immense carryover to your pull-ups and dips. So don't sleep on these two exercises. And before I end this video, I want to leave you with one last tip on how I personally do pull-ups and dips together. And that is with supersets. Supersets are an excellent way to reduce the amount of time you spend in the gym. And pull-ups and dips perfectly complement this method of training. To do a superset, first find an agonist and antagonist movement. In this case, pull-ups and dips or inverted rows and push-ups. In my case, I like to do dips first and then move on to pull-ups. I just got done with my first set of dips. And now it's time to superset that with pull-ups. And that's about it for doing pull-ups and dips. Yes, you can absolutely build a fantastic upper body with just these two exercises, but why would you when you can definitely add a few more exercises to the mix, especially when it comes to the shoulders, adding in the overhead press is a fantastic idea. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will make a video addressing your specific question. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.